Specialist Vanessa Guillen's name ringing through the nation's capital today as her family meets President Trump. The meeting comes after a months long search for answers and justice in her death. The family calling for a nationwide support for a congressional investigation and the passing of the hashtag I am Vanessa Guillen bill. Fox 44's Kendall Green, he joins us live in the studio with more on this morning's events. Kendall, Vanessa's story commanding national attention today. Yeah, Adam, it started this morning with a press conference and a march to the U.S. Capitol to the White House where they met President Trump to discuss the bill created in honor of Specialist Vanessa Guillen. Now, her family revisited all of the details that have been unfolding in recent months in an emotional plea for support from the president. Our troops need to feel safe, need to feel respected because they're the ones putting their life at risk. That's the message the Guillen family and their attorney took to President Trump as they discussed the investigation surrounding the Fort Hood soldier's murder. It hit me very hard. I saw what happened to your daughter Vanessa, who is a uh, spectacular person and respected and loved by everybody, including in the military. The Guillen family in the Oval Office sharing the gruesome details of 20-year-old Vanessa's death. He supposedly took a hammer and killed her in the, in the room, bludgeoned her to death. President Trump tells the family his administration is already taking action. The FBI and the DOJ are now involved. We got them involved. And the people at Fort Hood, where it took place, are very much involved. Uh, we didn't want to have this swept under the rug, which could happen. The Guillen family says they hope the president will support them by supporting the hashtag I am Vanessa Guillen bill. What it does is it says the way we have the EEOC, which is the Equal um, Employment Opportunity Commission, how if someone can report something, you go to the EEOC. We're looking for something that's going to allow our military, our, our soldiers, to have the same rights and protections. So that way they're not going to their chain of command or internally. What they're doing is they're going outside the command and reporting something. They say the president's support will prevent other soldiers from sexual harassment and assault, which is what they believe led to Vanessa's death. The family bringing other soldiers with similar stories into the conversation as well like Private Gregory Weedle Morales, who was laid to rest today. So they found his remains while they were looking for Vanessa's. No kidding. Yeah. Wow. President Trump promising answers and justice for Vanessa. We will get to the bottom of a lot of this and maybe all of it. Now, the family expressed they would like to have a funeral for Vanessa as soon as possible in her hometown of Houston. He offered to help with the funeral expenses when they can finally lay this late soldier to rest. In the studio, Kendall Green, Fox 44 News.